Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's first child will be a baby boy, according to a bizarre ancient Chinese predictor tool. Meghan and Harry will be expecting their first child in spring. The Duchess, who is now around six months pregnant, said her due date will be around the end of April or beginning of May. Royal fans are anticipating the royal baby's arrival and are excited to find out if the child is a girl or a boy. Some users on Twitter have even gone as far as predicting the baby's gender by using a bizarre Chinese predictor tool. According to the tool, if Meghan conceived around July or August, her child will be boy. The tool uses the mother's age and the month of conception to determine the baby's gender. Royal fans took to Twitter to express their excitement about the claims. One wrote, Baby Chinese calendar said that hashtag Prince Harry and hashtag Meghan Markle are having a boy. I guess we will see. Another added, took a break from writing. According to the Chinese gender predictor, Meghan Markle's baby is a boy. I will wait until April then. Hong Kong Feng Shui master Thierry Chow also predicted Meghan will be having a baby boy. He said, for Meghan Markle's birth chart, it is a bit more male dominant energy. So I would say to expect more of a boy than a girl. The tool is just for fun, and for a more accurate guess Meghan and Harry can check their baby's gender in 18 to 21 week scan. However, the royal couple have chosen to keep the gender of their child a secret until the birth date. According to reports, Chinese gender predictor is said to be hundreds of years old and was based on a chart once kept by officials in the King Palace so the Chinese imperial family would be sure of producing sons. Some reports say the chart was found in a royal tomb 700 years ago, and is currently housed in the Chinese Institute of Science. Eduardo Villamer, a professor of epidemiology at the University of Michigan School of Public Health conducted a study to determine the accuracy of the Chinese gender predictor tool. The study which was published in a 2010 issue of Pediatric and Perinatal Epidemiology, applied the predictor to 2,840,755 singleton births that occurred from 1973 to 2006 in Sweden. Professor Villamer concluded the predictor had a 50 to 50 chance of accuracy and was no better at predicting the sex of a baby than tossing a coin. The Duchess stepped out today for a visit to City. University of London to attend the Association of Commonwealth Universities ACU. Meghan looked in high spirits as she chatted to students and academics, who showcased their research on issues like gender equality, disability, sustainability and peace and reconciliation. The brunette beauty wore a black pleated dress with a Givenchy coat paired with nude heels, 